Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today with a special edition which is called Meet the Conference Speaker and you're going to meet Nina today. She is our design expert and speaker at Swift Tutorial Conference 2016 and she's going to give you a little pre-taste of what it's like to be a designer and for you as iOS developers having uh, a, a fundamental understanding of how to design and what good design is will help you to, to become even better iOS developers. And in this quick tutorial, it's going to take about 10 minutes, you're going to create this amazing looking uh, login form using Sketch and you're going to be introduced uh, in a really quick way in how you can use Sketch to create amazing user interfaces. So I hope you have fun and enjoy this little design session. Sketch makes it possible to create amazingly looking designs very quickly. In the next 10 minutes, we are going to create this nice looking login screen. I already opened up Sketch and the first thing we should do is creating a so-called artboard, which gives us a frame for our user interface. We do that by clicking insert on the top left and selecting artboard or pressing A on the keyboard. Sketch gives you a huge number of artboard templates in different sizes. In this iOS devices section here, for example, you get artboards for every current iOS product. We are going to choose the iPhone 6 sized artboard just because it has the right size for the project we are going to create. We are going to create our login form layer by layer, starting off with the background image that I have already prepared. You'll find it as a resource associated with this video. To get the background image onto our artboard, I simply drag and drop it from my desktop. Then I center it so it's exactly fitting on the, on the artboard. For our white box to look better on the image, I'm using a fill on this image. To change the fill color, we are taking a look at the inspector on the right here. In the fill section, we want to press so there is a fill and then first we need to turn down the opacity in on this slider below the color slider so we can look through the image and pick a color. To make it look good let's just pick a nice color from the background image and then afterwards repeat, uh, reduce the opacity. I will pick one from the sky some kind of light blue and then turn down the opacity here again to about 30%. That looks quite nice. To create the white box, we have to add a new shape layer onto our artboard. To do that, we can simply select insert in the top left corner and select shape and then round it, uh, round it here or press U on the keyboard. Pull up the rectangle on the artboard until it looks something like this. The corner radius should be about five and um, we want to fill it with a white color, so let's select the fill and pull this uh, little circle up to the left and deselect borders because we don't want to have some borders. Next up, let's add a little drop shadow by accessing the shadow section in the inspector. We will want to adjust the opacity, which we do, do in the color, and on this slider we want to reduce it to about 20%. Um, we also don't want to have any offset, so we reduce this to zero and pull the blur up to about 25. This already looks pretty nice now, but let's directly continue by adding the logo uh, that is also available to you in the resources associated with this video. Simply drag and drop it onto our artboard and center it on the top of this white form and let's resize it a little so it's only 115 by 115. Now of course we have to center it again, pull it a little bit of down. Now let's add the text fields below. To create a rectangle we can insert it through the top left button, select shape and then rectangle or press R on the keyboard. Let's pull it up here about this size, select a white fill and a light border color. We now need to center it and the next step is to make it clear for the users where to insert the username and the password. 
Therefore, we add some text fields and so, with some demo content. We uh, choose insert again and select text or press T on the keyboard. With a single click, we add our first text field and enter username. Now let's adjust the color and the, orient the alignment to left so we don't have problems afterwards. And now we adjust the color to a light gray color, something like this. So you still need to be able to read it. Let's set the font to Source Sans Pro by uh, pressing here and selecting Source Sans Pro or searching for it. The weight should be semi bold and the size 10. Now we position it so we like how it looks. Let's do something very similar with the demo username. Add a text layer by pressing T again and clicking here. Uh, we can enter something like Florence Heinz or some other dummy name. And now we want to change the font size again to 17 because that's the standard iOS font size. And change the color to something from the background. Maybe some purple from right here in the corner. That looks nice. And we position it so that it's aligned on the left side with username. Move it a little down. That looks perfect. Now select all of the layers we just created in the layer list by pressing shift and duplicate the text field with all its contents by pressing command D. Move it down a little and afterwards let's adjust the username label to password and edit Florence Heinz to put in some asterisks to hide the password of the user. Nice work already! We are almost done with the complete user interface. We now need to add the blue register button and for that create a new rectangle by pressing R on the keyboard. It should be the same size as the text fields. So we look how large it is. It's uh, 214 in width and 48 in height. This is already correct, the width and the height is 48. So the position of the text fields we can change later on. First, we want to um, correct the fill color and the border, which the border we will not need. And as fill color, we could use the, uh, the fill color of the background image. Therefore, I select the background image layer and copy the color code from the colors uh, option here and paste it to the fill of the button. All that is missing now is adding a new text field by pressing T and enter register. Changing the color to white and centering, we're finishing off the button. To make it easier to move all of the text field with its contents, we can group all of this by selecting the correct uh, layers in the left pane here and pressing Command G. Now it's a group. Let's name it correctly so we know what it is. This is the password uh, text field. And the other one is the username text field. Now we can just select the whole group at once and move it up. Let's group the button too, like this, and name it register button. Now we can select all of these groups and distribute them with this button on the right side. Select place on subpixels. Since we just dealt with text, let's add the last bit of text, which is the for forgot your password button. Just add another text layer by pressing T and entering forgot your password. We again adjust the font, color and size in the inspector. It's Source Sans Pro, Bold, size is 14, 
and the color is white. To underline text in Sketch, we go to the Options button right under the font setting and click this Underlined option. Perfect. Now we need to position it correctly. It should be in the middle and a little bit toward the white form. As we now created all the needed functions for a login screen, I would like to add a little design element on the top, which is just a circle that we are going to unify with our white box. To do that, press O on the keyboard and add a new oval shape to the artboard. Press Shift while doing that, so the sides will stay the same length. Move it to the center of the white box, so it cuts the circle in two. Now let's select both our circle and the white box and press the union button on the top here in the toolbar. To complete our design, we now only need to add the little key icon, which is also in the resources of this video. Just drag and drop it onto our artboard and position it within the circle, just like this. Let's move down the logo a little bit more so that it looks centered. So that's it. In just about 10 minutes, we created a pretty nice design and you familiarized yourself with Sketch and you have also learned a lot about its basic functions.